Welcome to All Fiuca's Tarot. This reading will be a channeled message for the collective. So we're going to use these Halloween oracles and then this other oracle and probably some charms. We're just going to see um, kind of what comes through. Okay, so let's get started. We'll move, move these out of the way. Okay. Right, we're just gonna see what comes through. I feel like that's it. I feel like I'm just gonna stop there. All right, first card, Lady de los Muertos. Acceptance and equality. Hmm. I, automatically, right out the gate, I'm feeling like there's a situation and I don't know where I hear work, um, I hear work and play, so it could be with friends, families, um, significant others. Um, there's a situation where you're not really being accepted for who you are, or they're not seeing you clearly. Um, I get the feeling that they're sort of um, projecting negative energy onto you. Um, I hear I'm quiet, um, so maybe some of you are on the quieter side or you don't go out as much um and i feel like that's leaving a lot of room for people to um sort of fill in the blanks with what they would assume or who they would assume you are versus who you actually are um yes yeah, so we're gonna just keep going here the veil. Yeah, this definitely makes sense. Um, so they're not seeing you clearly. Um, and I heard not a lot to go off of. So I, I do feel like maybe if it is in the workplace, um, you probably just kind of do your work or keep to yourself, eat your lunch, and then, you know, do your work and go home. So, you know, they're, they're really just filling in the blanks with what they can't see. And you may be, I, feel, I hear, physically attractive. So you may be a physically attractive person. And um, there's probably, you might be new in this place. Um, but I feel like that's creating a lot of jealousy. I hear green with envy. So um, maybe you get attention without really trying. And I feel like that's so because this is unwanted attention, but it is still attention. Um, so let's keep going. <laughs> the lamp of remembrance. Yeah, I, again, with the clarity, I feel like they're not quite seeing you clearly. And maybe you've tried to actually clear up some of the drama. I'm hearing, yes, I, I've tried, but they just distort the things that I say. Um, so I feel like you're really trying or you tried before to clean up the drama. And um, I don't feel like, I feel like it worked for a small period of time, but then they've, they've come up and I hear fabricated. So fabricated something else. Um, this sounds like almost like a bullying situation. Um, now it doesn't have to be in the workplace. I'm hearing this could be um, with a love interest and it could be their friendship group or their family. Um, yeah, this could be any number of places, but I do feel like I hear targeted. I feel like you're being targeted and yeah, it could be, I hear your beauty, the way you look or the way you carry yourself. Um, you may just be one of those beautiful people inside and out. And for whatever reason, they, they tend to really poke at those people, especially if you're quiet or you're laid back or more subdued. So let's keep going. Dawn. Okay, I heard new dawn, new day right off the bat. So, um, okay, I hear I've stopped trying to communicate who I actually am, um, which I hear smart move. So I'm feeling like this is actually a smart move on your part, um, not to have to prove who you are. Um, I hear it all comes out in the wash. So I feel like whatever they're trying to project onto you, um, 
is really going to start falling on deaf ears because um, the way you're going to be maneuvering and just focusing on yourself or your work or um, just doing everything within your authenticity, I feel like it's going to start to show to the other people that they're they're blabbing to that um, it's not the case, you know, and I think people are going to start to see through. This is kind of sheer, you see that? I think people are gonna to start to see through them. I hear they're gonna see the jealousy or the envy. Okay, so let's keep going. Strength, yeah, commend it on your strength. Um, and also to keep strong within this resolve because I feel like it will eventually prove your innocence, if that makes any sense at all. Um, yeah, stay strong, stay authentic, um, and stay focused is what I hear. Let's keep going. Ancestors, yeah. I, I feel like, you know, obviously divine's on deck for you. I feel like you're probably a spiritual person. Um, going through a harsher lesson or situation. Um, but I do feel like you really do know that you have a powerhouse behind you. And so I, I see, a, I just seen a lion. Um, so I feel like it, you could be Leo, um, doesn't have to be. Um, but um, I feel like you're roaring, but it, quietly, if that makes any sense at all. You're proving your point. Um, you know, a lion could walk into a space and command attention um, without even having to roar. And I feel like that is you as well. Um, you command the attention of others, but I feel like it's your energy that um, makes it into the room before you do, which kind of, you know, makes this, not this behavior understandable, but in a way understandable, right? Um, for somebody who is uh, more insecure, right? Uh, Apple. Okay, take the risk. Is what I heard, risk and reward. Okay, so risk and reward. I'm feeling like um, maybe it seems risky not to try and defend yourself like it would all turn out for the worst, you know? Um, but I don't feel that being so. I feel like it would be riskier to keep trying to defend yourself. You know, I heard two pigs roll in the mud, they both get dirty, right? Um, so it would be kind of the same thing. You would be defending yourself and appearing just as um, combative as this person or these this group of people, right? So I feel like the reward will be everyone seeing the truth of you, okay? Skull of darkness, blind spots. Yeah. Um, so what I'm getting right off the bat with the blind spots. Um, this is what this person can't see. The fact that you are secure in your authenticity. And no matter what they keep throwing, you're going to just keep moving forward. This feels like, um, like teenage bullying. Like it's not... Um, it's not, I, feel, I keep hearing, it's not anything you haven't dealt with before. Um, it's just kind of an annoyance that it's happening in an adult workplace or an adult adult environment, right? Um, so they won't be able to see you coming out on the other side in a way they think they are commanding attention for themselves, but uh, they are just not the right kind. It's like an ornery child who has decided to do something wrong just to get your attention versus trying to do something good to get someone's attention and just, you know, to do their own thing and, and be themselves, right? So let's keep going. One more. Yeah, intuition and scrying. Yeah, I feel like you are really utilizing your intuition when it comes to this situation. And it is spot on and on point. Um, with how you're moving. I feel like this, knowing the truth of the situation and seeing it very clearly, um, that whoever this is or this group of people, that their insecurities are screaming loudly. Um, and as apparent as it is to you, it is the same to others, right? Who are, you know, hearing this craziness. Okay, so let's keep going. 
let's see. I'm just going to collapse that a little. All right, we're going to pull from here and see if there's anything else Spirit wants to add to this situation. All right. We have the oracle. Seek wisdom and guidance from the elders. And we have your abilities will be enhanced. All right. You could be on the gifted side here. Um, yeah, I feel like I hear on a spiritual path. See, hourglass, time is of the essence. Yeah, I feel like this is going to run its course very quickly, this situation. Um, once you decide that you are not engaging in this situation in this situation anymore, um, really it is just going to fizzle out. Um, people are going to see the truth of all the gossip and um, ill words spoken about you. I feel like um, wisdom and guidance. I feel like you've just been sitting with yourself as far and and your spiritual team. Um, and really doing what feels right for you. And they're just sort of reiterating the fact that you are, you know, on course and making the right decisions for yourself. Um, and your abilities will be enhanced. I feel like, yes. Um, if you're getting to this reading, um, kind of closer to the time that I'm posting it, I feel like your abilities, uh, as a side note, um, so whatever spiritual gifts you have, they will be enhanced um, in the next few weeks. You may be feeling um, a little bit more within your gifts uh, as these few weeks go, okay? Um, so that's for some of you. Let's see if there's anything else Spirit wants to add to this. Yeah. Right. You're being the key, uh, the green light I hear to move forward. Um, I just heard something about stalling a creative project. So um, if you have been putting a creative project on hold because of all this that's going on, um, I feel like it will, like I said, it'll be fizzling out quite soon and you'll be able to start moving forward on that project. I feel like it's almost like you don't want to put it out there while this energy is kind of brewing in the background or simmering underneath. You kind of want a clear energetic platform to build upon. Um, so spirits kind of just letting you know that that is, that is coming up. You're being given the green light to really put forth your effort into this, um, this project or, um, whatever it is you want to bring into fruition here. Uh, the spirit. Yeah. Um, unseen forces watch over. You. Yeah. So, um, not only do they watch over you, but they are watching over what you want to put out into this world. Um, so whether it's a creative project or it is, um, a relationship, um, spirits are really just, it, it almost seems like they're not listening, but they're allowing it to run its course in a very organic way. Um, so this will clear itself up by you standing in your power. Okay. So that's what I'm getting for that. And I've just been given the sing signal that it's, um, that channel is closed. So we're going to pull some charms and, um, and see what comes up. All right. Anything else here wants to let the collective know here about this situation or any other? Let's see. Okay. Let's see. I heard some of you have come here for a love reading. Um, I will be putting one out soon, another one. Um, yeah, if this has to do with your love life um, and um, a certain person where there's gossip involved, um, Spirit is just trying to tell you not to get too overwhelmed by um, or your feelings hurt over much by those who are saying negative things about you. Um, like I said, there are others who see your depth and others who will soon see if they don't already, um, the good person that you are or the truth of who you are, you know, so don't worry too much. Um, the, as for the love situation, um, I feel like 
the person you're thinking of, if there's gossip involved when it comes to um, them seeing you clearly, they're going to stop really listening to those people and are going to be really following their own thoughts and feelings when it comes to who you are, okay? So no fears when it comes to this. Um, yeah, this is always my sign, this little guy here for um, a masculine energy who wants to nurture. So they may see what you're going through and kind of want to be the hero or want to kind of step in to um, nurture you. They may be actually contemplate whether or not they're going to step in. They may be doing so behind the scenes. Um, so that's also something to be aware of. Yeah. Yeah, I hear my crush. I don't want him to see me in a negative light. Or or flip it. Um, I don't want her to see me in a negative light. Um, if this is for... Um, how do I want to say that? Okay. If a man is the one being sort of um, the target of this situation and a female is looking in and she... You know, she may be seeing him in a more negative light. Um, I, I'm feeling like that is something that this person is really taking to heart. Um, they're really feeling um, disheartened in the situation. So if you could, you know, if you want to befriend this person, that might be a wise idea. Um, just to let them know that they have an ally. Um, I feel like the masculine energy that's being sort of tormented is taking it harder than the feminine energy um, who may be taking it pretty difficultly. So, you know, this is all going to vary for um, who you are in your situation. So you'll be the, you know, the judge of that. You know more than I do about your situation. Um, a portal. Like I said, this energy is kind of closing out. Um, it is going to be coming to a head and, and really tapering off very, very soon, if not already starting. Um, I hear, yeah, I hear on everybody's radar. So this person is really thinks they're flying under the radar doing their, you know, n nasty deeds and things like that or saying crappy things, but they're really not flying under the radar so much as they think they are. It's really very obvious. I heard green with envy and it's like shining. So, um, yeah, no worries there. You'll be seen for who you are. Um, yeah, they're, I feel like they're also ushering in spirit is kind of trying to usher in some peace for you, um, throughout this difficult situation. Yeah. And just letting you know that this is part of your excuse me, your transformation. Um, and it's really just there to make you stronger. I know sometimes it's hard to hear that, you know, why would spirit put these difficult situations um, in my life just to make me grow? Can I just grow through love or grow through happiness? Yes, but I do feel like some of our more difficult experiences really do shape us in really beautiful ways and they do help with our strength. Um, so we have this and, um, this little friendship thing here. Um, but I always view these knots as health, wealth, and happiness. So I hear for creative projects, it is coming up shortly where that energy is going to be the green light for you to go, go, go on your, on your new endeavor. So, um, be patient. Um, you'll know when it feels right for you to push forward, right? You'll just feel it. Uh, I hear for the shy mouse. Um, I was getting ready to point at this. So I'm hearing the masculine um, in that situation that I was talking about earlier. He may be very shy. So you may have to um, kind of uh, allow him to open up slowly. Okay, this masculine energy whoever's standing in this masculine energy. Um, and the feminine energy, I heard there are a few in this situation who are also shy. Okay, so um, that might be why, if you're shy, that you're not speaking up to defend yourself in such a way. Um, and that's okay, too. Um, yeah, and I also, heard, I also heard stay quiet. 
um, in this situation. Okay, what do we have? Oh, the little witch. I feel like um, your person, whoever this person is that you want to see you clearly in love, um, now this may have to do with the situation earlier or a, a separate situation, they really do see you as a magical person. Like you bring a type of energy that they've not experienced before. Um, I, I do believe that'll probably come up in the next love reading that I do. Um, it, it has something to do with you just stand out for being different and you might be so quiet as to not even have to speak. Your energy really does speak for you. Um, yeah, I'm here. Emperor, Empress energy. So you may be someone who, um, like I said, walks into a room and just commands attention. And even though you're shy, you might not really understand um, how that works because you're not making a fuss when you walk into a room. You're trying to maybe even slip in quietly, which um, is really hard for someone with your beautiful big vibration to do. Um, so that's what spirit's trying to kind of tell you is, you know, your, your vibration really does announce you. Um, Christmas. Okay. So we have Christmas again. Um, I feel like between Halloween and Christmas, something good may happen in love between you and your person. Um, let's see. Yeah. I feel like, um, I heard arrows of love. So somebody, maybe just stepping into a friendship I hear and then it may over the course of time turn into something more sweet okay so that is an opportunity that will be available to some of you I just heard talking to the moon uh talking to the moon yeah um someone may be missing you um as a side note I don't feel like this has to do with anything else um for those of you who are in separation who came to this reading also, um, I do feel like the missing is on both sides. Um, they may look at the moon or see an image of the moon and, and think of you, um, or they're thinking fondly of you in this now moment, okay? So that's an, a message for some of you who are um, struggling with missing someone. Um, we have that busy bee here, and also I'm hearing communication as well. Um, there may be fast-moving communication coming in um, concerning work or concerning something um, matters of the heart. Um, yeah, I, I heard stay busy on your project. So whatever it is you're trying to create, if you are a creator in some way, artistically or, you know, online somewhere, um, I heard stay focused. There will be a lot of um, buzz going around. Um, you could have been involved in the situation that we read in the cards. Um, but they're just kind of telling you again, stay focused. Um, don't worry over much about um, other situations. Um, you will be succeeding in what you put your effort to. You know, where your energy, uh, where your attention goes, your energy flows, right? So, um yeah. Oh, one more. One more. Okay. So we have this little turtle here. This, um, I feel like this symbolizes you, this little turtle. I feel like you are whole all on your own. Now, um, I feel like no matter where you go, you will always kind of fit in somewhere, right? Um, I feel like people do take to your energy really well. And maybe the situation before kind of has you thrown because you're not used to being maybe treated in such a way. Um, even if you are um, kind of used to that treatment where you go, you know, so a lot of times really attractive people, um, they get that kind of energy a lot. Um, and you may not be thinking, oh, I'm not all that attractive. Um, you probably are <laughs> and you don't realize it. Um, but someone is also looking at you as I hear home for my heart. So someone is looking at you as a safe place to land. Okay. Um, this may be a crush or this may be someone you're already connected to uh, in a relationship with. Um, and they're just really 
I guess in awe by the fact that they feel so comfortable just falling into you when they need you. Um, I hear you're really wonderful and I'm really thankful. So even if you're just um, being a friend to someone who needs you, um, you're being commended on that. Um, they may not have actually said so much as how important you are to them um, for just providing that safe place where they can discuss their thoughts and feelings um, without them traveling outside of that particular um, situation. So um, I'm hearing thank you. So you're getting your thank you um, beforehand. <laughs> okay, that is what I have for you. Um, until next time, bye.